Are you guys ready for a searing hot take? Half-Life 2 is pretty good. I absolutely adore this game, as do most people. Well, it certainly has its detractors. I feel like most people who have played the game get some level of enjoyment out of it. And yeah, it's probably in my like top five games ever as of right now. It was my favorite game of all time for a while. And I can genuinely say I enjoy pretty much every moment of this game. Except for sand traps. Every game that has a chapter based system has to have a chapter that's just not as good as the rest. One has to be the favourite, one has to be the worst. I don't make the rules, except I just did. And Half-Life 2 has the chapter sand traps, which has the worst moment of gameplay in the entire game, while also having the best moment of gameplay in the entire game. So let's talk about it. After fighting through the absolutely fantastic horror area Ravenholm, you eventually emerge into Highway 17. Some people don't like this chapter. Uh, I love this chapter. The atmosphere is great and I love the buggy and I love all the houses. I don't like the roller mines, but this is one of my favourite areas in the game. Towards the end of Highway 17, the chapter transitions into Sand Traps, and sometimes I forget that Sand Traps doesn't start on the Antlion Beach. It actually starts with a little area where there's a few houses dotted around, and then there's the Battle at the Lighthouse, which is a decent enough little combine skirmish. To be honest, I don't really consider these areas to be a part of Sand Traps. I'm not entirely sure why they open the chapter. These should have just been the end of Highway 17. Sure, it would have been a long chapter, but at least it's not as long as fucking surface tension. Jesus Christ. After the battle at the lighthouse, you go down this little tunnel and then you emerge on the Antlion Beach, which to me is the true start of Sand Traps. You come across a guy who's tending to another guy who is unconscious on the floor and he warns you not to step on the sand. The other guy on the floor, named Laszlo, begins to move about, which causes a flurry of ant lions, which are these bug-like enemies, to attack and kill him. Laszlo was apparently the finest mind of his generation. Which, sure. Eventually, you are sent on your way through the ant lion beach, and this is where we get into the chapter's main gimmick. Because as much as I love Half-Life 2. It is a game of gimmicks, which I don't think is a really bad thing. I mean, Half-Life has always been about big set pieces, and of course when you have a physics-based engine like Source, you're, you're gonna have gimmicks. The first half of Sand Trap's gimmick is using the gravity gun to create pathways for you to cross the Antlion Beach without touching the sand, because if you so much as put a little tippy toe, a little tiny fingernail, a little bunion on that sand, you will be swarmed by ant lions, which you don't really want, because it sucks. <laughs> I really hate this area, and I don't understand why it's placed at this point in the game. I mean, story-wise, it makes sense, having the Antlion Beach right after Highway 17, an area on a beach, makes total sense, but from a gimmick standpoint, wouldn't this make more sense coming after Black Mesa East? You know, as a way of testing out and using the gravity gun? But they couldn't have it coming right after Black Mesa East, because they already had a way better physics gravity gun sandbox right after that chapter with Ravenholm. Ravenholm is really close to video game perfection in my eyes. It's such a fun area while also being genuinely frightening and having a tense atmosphere. Sand Traps is annoying. It doesn't help that as much as the physics engine in Source is absolutely fantastic to this day, it's a little bit jank. I mean, you have to admit, there's, there's a bit of jank to Source. Meaning that if you even try to stack props on a slightly slanted, what, sli slightly slanted? <laughs> on a slightly slanted surface, you are pretty much guaranteed to fall off into the sand where you will be eaten by ant lions. It is very, very annoying. Now, admittedly, this area isn't very large. In fact, if I remember correctly, this old beach fits in one single map, meaning it's completely seamless, which is good, because I feel like if I had to traverse props over a level trigger, I would kill myself. 
Eventually you reach the end and you do a pathetically easy boss fight with the Antlion Guard. Seriously, I think I beat this thing in like under 20 seconds. It's very, very funny. And then you're eventually led into a Vortigaunt rebel camp. So let's reflect on this past area. Look, I do appreciate the attempt at doing something kind of different and kind of cool. And the idea of this level is pretty nice. But when you make the margin of error so slim, and when the physics engine, as good as it is, does have that level of jank, I think this idea should have been thrown in the garbage. Its placement in the game doesn't make sense, because you think it would be a test for the gravity gun, but we already had a test for the gravity gun, and the enemies it places in the area are incredibly irritating. They're not as bad as the antlion workers, though. Jesus Christ, I hate the antlion workers. Okay. So you've just passed the worst area in the game, what's next? The best area in the game. <laughs> the second half of Sand Traps, which I say half, it's probably considerably longer than the Antlion Beach, is my favourite part of the game. You're breaking into the old decommissioned prison Nova Prospect, which has been transformed into something by the Combine. This area is great. You get the pheromone pods from the antlion boss, which means now all of the antlions uh, follow you and will attack combine for you. And this is just a really, really cool area where you are storming a prison, basically. It's really fun and tense and high action, and I love it a lot. There is one part I don't like, which is towards the end, as you're about to enter Nova Prospect, you get flanked by two gunships. Um, this kind of sucks. It's not as bad as the antlion beach, but... I found it difficult to track down the box of infinite rockets, which to be honest is probably a me thing, but I just don't like fighting gunships. It seems like they shoot down my rockets way too quickly and it just... I, I, I hate... I hate the gunships. J just doing one gunship at a time is manageable, but when there's two both shooting at you at the same time, it gets really fucking annoying. And then you enter an overprospect. So. Sand Traps is, despite having a great area at the back of it, the Antline Beach still sucks so much that Sand Traps is definitely my least favourite chapter in the game. Nova Prospect, the following chapter, is my favourite. It's got great atmosphere, great fights. Yeah, I love it. Despite hating Sand Traps, I still have an appreciation for it. It's clear that time was put into it, and I do like the idea, but I think it was just implemented a little bit poorly and to be honest should have been scrapped due to the capabilities of the physics engine. It's a great physics engine, I love it, Valve, Havoc, have my babies, but um, I can't say that, <laughs> but uh, it, it's good for something like Ravenholm, but for something like making pathways over ground that you physically cannot touch or you will be swarmed, it's, it's just a bit frustrating. Anyway, this is a bit of a lighter video than my last two. I wanted to do something a bit shorter because I'm working on a larger video and there will probably be another short video at some point over the next few weeks. But that is all. Thank you. Goodbye. Mwah. Ta-ta.